When it comes to ray tracing, and to most things actually, AMD is playing catch up with Nvidia. So while their toy shop demo has been met with criticism for not being perfect, I see it as being a major success. So what don't people like about this demo? Well it shows quite obvious shimmering on surfaces, a lot more than Nvidia's demonstrations do, and there's very noticeable smearing behind motion. So yes, it isn't perfect, but in this video I want to show you my perspective, and to do that we must travel back in time. Back, 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 way back to the ancient times of 2020. To my knowledge, aside from actual games, there have been four video showcases of AMD's ray tracing so far. Two of these were for RDNA 2, being the Radial 6000 series, and these were released at the tail end of 2020. The first of these early ray trace demos that I want to cover is this one. Launched during the oh look, ray tracing can make things look really reflective stage. So while most early games with ray tracing support were just content with having excessive puddles everywhere, this AMD showcase took it to the next level by making everything really, really reflective. This demo ran at 1080p, sub 30 FPS, possibly even a cinematic 24 FPS. Nobody ever saw making everything fully reflective as being an ideal use for ray tracing, but it is the most obvious way to demonstrate something ray tracing can do that our previous fake ways of doing the effect cannot. So yes, ray tracing is an obvious improvement over screen space reflections, even if it's being shown in quite a ludicrous situation just here. This demo simply served to show that AMD had graphics cards that were capable of doing ray tracing, even if still in a very limited and impractical sense. And as always you've got to compare it with what they had before, which was nothing. So to see this running on a 6000 series of Radeon graphics card, and not using any sort of upscaling trickery, because they didn't have any at the time, it was an important milestone for AMD even if those reflections really were excessively shoved in your face. Constantly. Travelling even further back in time to early 2018, Nvidia launched this demo, featuring the same super reflective ray traced surfaces, but in a demo that looked complete, cinematic, that had a story and humour and everything. So clearly AMD were very, very behind, even two and a half years after this, caught completely off guard by Nvidia's pivot towards ray tracing. At the same time as this super reflective showcase, AMD also launched this one, Hangar 21. This displayed a hybrid ray traced rasterized showcase, which better represents how ray tracing might have been used in games at the time. But in my opinion, the showcase simply managed to disappoint in both areas. The whole point of a graphics showcase is to demonstrate the benefits of a new technology, and you do that by having it showcase something that wasn't possible before. AMD have failed to grasp this in the past the worst offender being AMD's HK2207 demo, where they managed to launch a tech demo in 2010 that looked like a game from the early 2000s. That's the wrong way around AMD, and this Hangar 21 showcase does something similar, not just by managing the seemingly impossible task of looking simultaneously murky and overly saturated and gamey, but also by making it impossible to see how ray tracing is benefiting the scene. There are two very reflective surfaces shown which are obviously ray traced, but the rest of the image? How can you tell if it's ray traced, and if so, what are the benefits of ray tracing them? Here's the thing, most stuff shown here is not being ray traced. Most of it is using AMD's conventional methods of faking these effects, often indistinguishably to the ray traced bits of the scene. So this isn't a showcase of ray tracing, if anything this is a showcase to the detriment of ray tracing. Fortunately, they uploaded another version of this showcase with annotations so that we could see what was ray traced and what was still using old fake techniques. Like here, where they show that the ambient occlusion uses depth buffers and not ray tracing. And then they show that this ambient occlusion in the demo uses ray tracing. And this reflection, screen space, while this one over here, ray tracing. So it's a very confused and limited demonstration of what ray tracing can do. This demo doesn't give any good justification for why we should want to use ray traced effects. In fact, it serves as ammunition for why you wouldn't want to ray trace stuff. A few months before this, Nvidia launched this marble demo, showing us how a ray trace tech demo should look. Again, it's a full scene, a wonderfully polished and beautiful looking environment where ray tracing is merely used to enhance it further. You don't need to have an understanding of ray tracing to be able to look at this and to be like, wow, this ray trace demo is beautiful. It's got convincing reflections, it's got glowing surfaces, and lots of subtle real-time effects which make this a far better demonstration of what ray tracing can achieve, likely helped quite a bit by DLSS 2.0 upscaling, which was another benefit that Nvidia had at the time when all AMD had was the FSR1 sharpening filter. So that's 2020 in a nutshell, 
This AMD showcase makes us fond of the old methods, while Nvidia's teases off the new things that ray tracing can enable and invites us to imagine how the future could look. So yeah, things weren't looking too good for AMD's ray tracing in 2020, but if we fast forward to 2024, AMD posted this. It isn't a video, but it is a showcase of their efforts to develop improved path tracing, upscaling and denoising. Why they featured point lighting in this scene is anyone's guess because it makes it look like an early 90s render. It's almost like AMD tries to sandbag everything they do. But yeah, I won't dwell on this too much because it's not a video, so it's kind of boring to talk about here. But it does show that the technology underpinning all of their ray traced efforts is being continually developed and improved. So let's now fast forward to 2025 and to the two latest video demos that AMD have shown, both of which show fully path traced scenes. This means no more rasterized trickery. From now on, everything seen on the screen, from the obvious reflections to the subtle ambient occlusion and bounce lighting, is now all done in real time. So this one was shown in January at CES, and I don't think it was ever properly released for us to get for us to get a good look at. But Digital Foundry filmed this in action, and it's that same Hangar 21 demo from earlier in this video. Only this time, it's all path traced, every single effect. I remember at the time thinking it was quite some way off being acceptable because it was still very shimmery and unstable, and according to the guys at Digital Foundry, their frame rate and resolution wasn't too great either. But I still see this as being a big milestone for AMD by being a fully path traced scene, run on AMD hardware. With this, AMD have achieved the holy grail of ray tracing and can now simply build upon it and refine it. I mean, they could have just shown Cyberpunk running at path trace settings, but whatever. Which gets us onto this latest Toy Shop showcase. So AMD are still a few years behind Nvidia, but they are still a few years ahead of where AMD was a few years ago. Yes, a lot of the surfaces are still rather unstable and there are distinct trails behind a lot of things in motion, and we fixate on these issues because the rest of the showcase looks fine. The resolution of the showcase is high, the frame rate is high, and also remember that AMD's focus on the mid-range actually pays off here. Because if Nvidia shows a demo, it could be running on a $2,000 graphics card. But given that AMD's best card is the $600 Radeon 9070 XT, it shows they've achieved all of this on something rather affordable. Because AMD literally doesn't have anything better to run it on. It really goes to show the thankless task of advancing this kind of tech. When Nvidia developed real-time ray tracing, DLSS upscaling, then ray reconstruction, and now fake frames, People fixate on the negatives, the limitations and compromises of those new things, rather than what they actually improve upon. And I guess we can only really appreciate the benefits of those things when we are then transported over to AMD's situation where they don't have these things, and where the resulting image quality is worse. But with this Toy Shop demo, AMD have finally got their own Nvidia style showcase, where it isn't just showing ray tracing for the sake of showing ray tracing, it is showing a full, finished scene, and path tracing is merely being used to enhance it. Were it not for this shimmer, ignore it for a second, it's a beautiful demonstration of Pixar quality real-time rendering. All of the limitations of this showcase will eventually be solved by brute force advancements in processing power, but this will also be majorly accelerated by future advancements in AMD's own path trace implementation and their denoising tricks and tools. And it sucks to say it, but I know that AMD will achieve this because they're always following in Nvidia's footsteps, and Nvidia are close to achieving this already.